Hello, um, okay, guys, welcome back to my next video. Um, for this particular uh, video, I'm going to discuss the interpretations of the mass spectral spe data, the spectrometers. So we are going to look on a three examples, which is we have a monoatomic samples, diatomic samples, and some molecule samples. Of course, in this video, I'm only going to discuss a simple molecules. I'm not going to make it very complicated. So without further ado, let's look the first one. <coughs> let's say interpreting the mass spectral relative abundance of the isotope. In my previous videos, I have discussed, I have told you that we can get this data from the mass spectrometer. The mass spectrometer by do the all the bombardments and it undergo deflections and uh, all the process until it reached the detector. The detector will interpret and come up with the line spectrums like this. For information, as I for this one, this line spectrum is for sodium atom. As from by referring to the uh, periodic table, we noted the sodium atom have the mass spect, uh, the molar mass of 23. And we no only notice there is only a single line over here without any other lines present in this line spectra. Therefore, this indicate sodium atom only we, there is no isotope there is no other isotope it's only have 100 percent sodium 23 that presents in that particular sample so that is a, a conclusion so over here then we can say the sodium have this 11 uh, number of the atomic number is 11 and of course we have 11 protons because it is a neutral atom when neutral atom the proton and neutron will be the a proton and the electron will be the same so this is your neutron so that is a simple interpretations of a monoatomic sample so let's look when i'm talking about diatomic sample guys please give uh, extra attentions of a diatomic sample the diatomic sample i'm using over here is a chlorine it is well known chlorine come with the two isotope we have 35 and 37 and we know chlorine diatom diatom so it have two chlorine atom so we might think which combination will produce a Cl2? Of course, of course a diatomic gas, which is a chlorine, it has a Cl2, which is, guys, I might have a combination of chlorine and chlorine. Of course, Cl2, but the combination could be 35 with a 35. So, I'm using isotope chlorine 35 and 35. And as it is well known, when it is 35 and 35, it gives of a molar mass of 70. So by referring to this peak, we notice this is your 70. And this 70, it, this line is actually correspond, correspond to Cl2 with the isotope of 35 and 35. Guys, it could also be another combination. It could be the chlorine gas, could be the combination of 35 and 37. Those are the isotope. It could be when 35 and 37 combine, yes, they still give Cl2. So, when 35 plus with 37, 37 you will get the total molar mass is 72. So, we look at here. This is the peak that is 72, the percentage is 30. So this peak is correspond to this one and this peak is correspond to this one. Guys, we might also come a thing, Cl2 could be a combination of the isotope of 37 and 37. So by plus sum of these two, I get the molar mass is 74. So, look at the peak. There is the molar mass of 74 and 
and this peak is actually correspond to these dimorphic molecules and guys what is the proof that chlorine has the two isotope the answer will be here as you can see over here this 30 peak the most abundant peak with the 75 this indicate chlorine and also we have a 37 of course over here and with the abundant relative abundant of 25 this is a clear cut chlorine have two isotope which is cl35 and i have cl37 so this is the this peak is actually correspond to this one and this peak is actually correspond to this isotope those how we label the peak accordingly so the next one is the diatomic samples uh, almost the same so chlorine and go with this i think this is the same what what we have discussed in the earlier to identify the peak according to the information given and let's slowly move to a molecular sample this one a bit tricky please take a note guys when we are talking of molecule it's a combination of course it have more than one atom so it could be a combination of a hydrocarbons or carbon and hydrogen or oxygen and with the hydrogens they could have this interpretation of the mass spectrometer analytic spectra a bit complicated so of course we have the molecule again we undergo the same process we undergo the vaporizing chamber we make it ionized and the mass spectrometer then they have a bombardment of electrons remember the bombardment of this electron will cause this molecule positively charged and this is where uh, a simple example you have a molecule over here and this molecule undergo a bombardment and you get a positively charged ions over here and there is a bombardment of electron definitely so let's look the how to interpret the data of course as you can see over here when it the molecule undergo a bombardment actually bombardment of the electron it tend to be become a very unstable because the molecule ions are energetically unstable because there is a bombardment of electron some of them some of the part of the molecule will break to a smaller piece why it break to smaller piece in order to achieve a better stability so in the simple case of a molecule ion breaks into two parts one of which is a positively charged of course when it breaks one part will be positively charged another part yes it doesn't have any charge but we call it as a free radical so this is your free radical this is your molecule of course let me refresh it this is your molecule and this is your free radical this is a fragmentations of the bigger species the original species so it become a cation and also free radical you will guys you will learn this kind of mechanism especially particularly when you involve an organic synthesis organic chemical reactions definitely you will come across this so wait for my video on organic synthesis lectures then of course we do have some this is nothing much so of course the bombardment and both the free radical as well as the the cation that undergo the fragmentations will be detected in the mass spectrometer in the detected sections and of course a line spectrum will be appear so remember when the line spectrum will appear always keep in mind the relative abundance of all the situation must be always 100 percent so this is the uh, simple the explanations so always remember the line spectrum process is m plus one peak a small peak one this is we have covered in the earlier is a mass over charge you need to write of the molecule so of course they compare this mass by using carbon 13 as a top okay guys 
let's look this simple molecule. So look at here. This is actually a ethanol. Ethanol. As we know, the mo molar mass of ethanol, ethanol, molar mass of ethanol is 46. <laughs> is there any 46 presented over here? Yes, this peak is appear over here. This is what we call M plus 1 peak. Where, of course, when it undergo fragmentation, it break to form a free radical that we have agree and also a cation. Free radical over here is actually referred to the cation. As you can see, it break off and you have, you will notice from the line spectra, there is a peak at the 45. It is quite obvious over here, the 45. So, 45, if you look, 45, and this is your 46 peak. By minus 8, we notice there is a lack of 1. 46 minus 45, you get 1. That 1 is actually the mass of the free radical. 1 is actually referred to the hydrogen atom. Mass of the hydrogen atom. So, this will be your mass uh, peak for this uh, cation and of course guy this one can undergo further fermentation uh, sorry fragmentation fragmentation it break it to a smaller pieces so as you can see let's say i break this top at this particular point let me refresh it i can break over here please keep in mind there is a hydrogen over here it can break accordingly Okay, we continue. So, by breaking over here, as I told you, then you have this fragment. So, the molar mass of this fragment is corresponds over here. This is the one. And by calculating the molar mass, we notice this line is actually correspond to this section. So, guys... Please take note, it also have another possibility. Again, referring to this molecule, it might undergo a fragment like this. So, over here, this could be another possibility. By calculating the molar mass of this section, this line over here is respond to this uh, mass relative abundance is respond to these sections and also also there is another possibility only breaking of these sections so calculating the molar mass of this substance this part 12 plus 3 then you get 15 therefore uh, there is a small relative abundant mass uh, line spectra over here this one is respond to this section so, guys, in conclusion, what I'm trying to say, when you have a molecule, the uh, line spectra is actually uh, solving a puzzle. It might break according to its sections by sections. So, we are the one try to figure it out which line correspond to which section, which fragment. Uh, uh, this are fragments. So, guys, actually, mass spectra is only one portion to solve uh, the mystery, the puzzles. It could be come with a different. We can, we might use different instrumentation such as NMR, mass spectro, uh, so nuclear magnetic uh, resonance instrument, or FTIR to so get a better picture of the molecular structure if really we are aiming for the molecular structure of a molecule this is very very useful especially those are study in organic chemistry so this is actually a beginning to introduce to organic chemistry especially structure review so guys there is more example to we can say how the actually ethanol can undergo fragmentations according to the mass spectra that we have discussed the line mass spectra so this is your one uh, I compiled with the earlier one and this could be 17 and this could be 31 and this could be a 15 29 and 45 and of course I have compilation of all become this one so guys 
if you notice in the previous this one all the value that I mentioned we put it over here actually you can find the lines it's here it's only the intensity will be different according to their uh, fragment fragments undergo so that's all from me for this slide stay tuned with my youtube channel for more video bye stay tuned bye please subscribe to my youtube channel as well